Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and review for these premium uh, Sony uh, earphones. Uh, the model name is WF1000XM3 and don't uh, actually confuse this with the WH1000XM. Those are the headphones, these are the earphones. And uh, uh, guys, I know uh, these were launched late in India. It was just launched a couple of weeks back. And on Amazon, I have seen this going as low as about 18,000. Currently, it is priced at about 20,000. And as you can see, it says uh, leading noise cancellation. And let me just open this up. I'll leave the links in the description uh, below, guys. So here it is. And it's nice to see that they support both the assistant, Google Assistant, as well as Alexa. Also has 360 reality audio sound. And uh, again, the big thing is that it has noise cancellation also. And uh, this has the so Sony uh, QN1E chip, uh, which we actually found even on the bigger uh, Sony headphones. Now it's the E, um, they fitted in this one. And uh, this also has NFC, of course, and uh, DSH, uh, DSEE. Uh, this is that uh, sound enhancement for low quality audio. Uh, and of course, ANC is there. And this also supports the Sony headphone app. So let me quickly open. And yes, it works even with the iPhones as well as Android of course so let's open this up so guys to open it up you just push it and slide it from here this comes out and it says uh, instructions start speeding and all those things so uh, the earbuds are here itself out let me just keep that to the side and this is the case and you'll charge it via this again feels very premium guys again uh, it's an expensive product uh, but uh, looks premium i hope it has some charge i'll just put them here like this no i think so i need to charge them oh there's a plastic i will remove it and yes it's magnetic so nice does not fall off like this anyways there's some plastic i'll remove that and uh, what else do we get and we get uh, this 360 reality audio free trial music service and uh, guest manual will be also here i'll just keep and we get a bunch of extra ear tips on this one uh, so silicon and i believe these are sort of memory foam type ones also so nice to see that we're getting quite a bit uh, six over here and one is pre-attached so total of seven and we just get a small uh, usb type c cable that is used for charging so that's what we have in the box so guys what i'll do is uh in the later part of the video i'll let you guys know what do i feel about this one i'll test it out for a week or so so in the later part of the video will be the review so guys it's been slightly over a week since i'm actually using this one so i'll share my experience now what do i feel about these uh to sum it up, I would say these sound beautiful. One of the best TWS that I have experienced and much better than some of the earlier TWS, premium TWS I've used like the AirPods Pro or even the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. But let's get on uh, towards it. What do I like and what are the things that I do not like? And as you can see, it comes in this case. Right now it's still charging uh, the earbuds. That's why this is in red color. And uh, as you can see, uh, when it's charging, even these actually light up in uh, red color when you take them out and if they are connected as you can see it blinks in blue color and i was initially annoyed uh, about this one but i would say you need not be annoyed because uh, when it's connected and once you wear it like this uh, the blinking actually stops so it's just there to actually show you that uh, what do you say uh, the connection is there and uh, i tested it with multiple what do you say i'm just going to enable bluetooth so it's going to uh, uh, connect and i tested the connectivity with three different uh, smartphones so no issues regarding the connectivity but let's go over some of the pros and cons and whenever you wear it first time it tells you the battery charge percentage so that's actually nice and if you notice there are two actually uh, capacitive areas over here left and right and you can completely customize this by default the right one is for your music uh, playback and stuff for example once if you tap it will pause the music uh, double tap it will move to the next track Triple, uh, triple tap it will move to the previous track it takes a little bit of time to get used to it but you quickly get used to it. Uh, the left one uh, by default is uh, set to what do you say uh, uh, noise cancellation uh, you can uh, invoke noise cancellation you can shut off no noise cancellation and also one more good thing is that it is known as ambient sound because when you just wear it like this uh, it's uh, because these are sort of in here they go in your ear they block a lot of sound so let's say if somebody is here he wants to speak to you you can just press uh, that 
and ambient sound comes so you can easily uh, talk to them without taking them off uh, also uh, they have one more functionality if just a uh, second or you want to say hi or something just hold on like this for a half a second and uh, you can hear that person so that functionality is uh, there on these uh, earbuds and they are slightly on the bigger side i would say uh, so it takes a little bit of time to get used to and in fact i, I use a lot of tws earphones headphones and mostly the default ear tips fit perfectly fine on most of the tws but on this one i had to actually play around with this one uh, uh, different ear tips and finally uh, i would say uh, the memory phone one the smallest one was the most comfortable to me and then it was very comfortable so again play around with these ear tips uh, so, you, so that you get a good seal then you'll really enjoy the music on uh, this one also coming to ANC these have active noise cancellation uh, but you don't have to actually use the ANC all the time because by the nature of this one, they go in your ear. So passively, they will block a lot of sound. Uh, but yes, when you invoke ANC, some sound, for example, your uh, AC's humming sound or the fans uh, rotating, those are completely eliminated. But again, if you are expecting that it will block uh, people who are, who are talking around you, that's not the case. In fact, ANC is actually pretty good. But uh, if you're expecting the ANC level uh, as good as the Sony's uh, uh, full-size uh, headphones, uh, that is the WH-1000XM3. No, it's not that good. But yes, the ANC comes and it removes all that humming sound, uh, AC sound, fan noise, etc. So I felt I was mostly using them with the ANC on because I felt uh, uh, it was giving me a better sound signature because of the isolation that was happening. So that's regarding it. And uh, before we talk about the sound, as I've told you, it sounds really, really good. Uh, it also has integrated microphone. And uh, actually, I did take a lot of calls and the call quality was actually uh, surprisingly good in this area. And uh, one thing I noticed is that uh, while taking calls, it just uses mostly the left uh, ear, but not the right one if we wear both. Uh, but to give you an idea, I shot a video and I was using this one as the microphone. So here it goes. So just wanted to give you an idea how is the audio recording. As you can see, I'm wearing it. And the audio is being transmitted via this uh, Sony Bluetooth earphone. One strange thing that I noticed is that I'm going to tap this right butt and it's not picking up the microphone from the right butt but only from the left side. Uh, but I also took some calls and I found that the uh, microphone quality is very good. But uh, this should give you an idea how is the microphone quality that you can expect. Now, uh, another important thing with this one is that it comes with the Sony Companion app. Uh, and I would say uh, that's the big strength of this one. As you can see, this is the Sony headphone app. And now it's going to connect uh, to this. And it gives you an idea about the charge levels as well as the charge levels of the actual case on this one. And here if you go to the sound, uh, you have a lot of uh, settings over here. From here, as you can see, you can uh, change the ambient sound control from noise cancellation to what and how much you want to hear. Uh, uh, what is ambient sound also you can adjust all this so you have a lot of options over here and the best part of this one is that uh, Sony allows us to customize the sound as you like because uh, though they sound excellent even without any EQ but here as you can see you have uh, a lot of EQ, EQ options that are available as you have gone to the manual I've slightly boosted the terrible uh, treble tones but as you can see you have a lot of uh, options here and you can actually play around with this one to get the best you want. Uh, this is something that I really liked on uh, this one, as you can see. I've tweaked it a little bit, I didn't have to do, but again, whatever sound signature you want, you can easily get with this one. Uh, the Excited also uh, sounds actually really nice, but I have just, and apart from that, you can also individually, I like this uh, fact, uh, the clear base what Sony calls you can even adjust that in the custom mode so again a lot of uh, options are there also 360 audio is there uh, but sadly it, that service does not work in India officially uh, also moving to the sound mode you can uh, prioritize this I played around with both didn't found a lot of different also we have this DSE HX on uh, so if you have low quality audio, uh, this tries to enhance it. I didn't notice a lot of uh, difference, but yes, the highs were slightly sharper 
a better, I would say not sharper is not the right word, better if I enable this. But again, if this is only if you have low quality audio. So these were the uh, other settings that we have. And here you can also customize what you want when you touch it. Uh, for example, here, as you can see, Google Assistance is there. I can change it to ambient uh, sound control or all these other options. Even you can control the volume level uh, with this one. Here. So this is completely customizable. What happens when you tap on this? So I like the fact that Sony is allowing you what to do again left and even for right again you can customize. By default as I told you it's on playback control. So that's actually a nice thing. I'm just going to get out of this. Also uh, if you're just listening to music, you just take out the uh, earbud, it will automatically pause the music and there is nothing like a shut off or something. You just put it in the case and you are sort of done. Uh, also, you can check for software updates via this. So I really like the app on this one. And the big strength is that you can customize the sound signature what you want. If you like excessive bass, you can do that. If you want enhanced vocals, you can do that. Uh, so again, it's totally customizable, the sound signature. and. To talk about the sound, uh, I would say these sound beautiful. The bass is there when it's required, it comes, uh, it doesn't muddy the mid tones or the high tones and also the vocals are produced excellent on this one and even the high tones are produced very well and it's not actually very sharp. So even after listening to music continuously for one hour, my uh, ears were not fatigued with this one. So in that area, I would say they have done a beautiful job and if it's just for the sound quality, I would say these are one of the best TWS that I have personally used. Uh, I haven't used the Momentum, Sennheiser Momentum too so I don't know but apart from that I would say even have uh, my friend had uh, AirPods uh, Pro uh, these actually sound better than that and even the Samsung Buds uh, uh, whatever we have so in terms of sound signature I would say this gets a big thumbs up from I me mean, even without any customization or playing with the apps when I just used it first time within two minutes I just said wow these sound amazing and my daughter also tested this one she actually never likes these TWS she is a headphone person uh, but after listening to this for two minutes she said wow these sound actually really really good uh, so in terms of sound stage excellent and if I have to just talk about sound I would rate this one as high as 9.5 out of 10 but again uh, this is not perfect so let's talk about uh, some of the cons also about uh, this one and uh, i would say uh, the biggest con is that uh, there is no ip protection on this one so these are not even rated so what do you say sweat proof so i would not suggest this one for what do you say if you're going to gym or workouts uh, because there is no ip protection uh, in terms of fit i didn't have a problem after i changed the ear tips it does not fall from your head so that way i didn't have a problem but again if you are a kind of a sports person then i would not recommend you the, uh, this one because there is no ip protection not even ipx4 so that is slightly disappointing uh, then again uh, moving to one more thing is that if you notice the case uh, uh, the case is actually pretty big on this one compared to most other TWS that uh, I have uh, tested. Uh, so the original AirPods are almost half the size of this. And so the case is slightly on the bulkier side. The good thing is that because of that, uh, it can charge th these actually three times. And uh, Sony claims battery life of about six hours. Uh, in my testing, I was always using it with ANC. It gave me slightly over five hours uh, with the uh, this. But again, if you put this back, it can charge it three times. So I feel, yes, the battery life is not an issue. But again, the case is slightly on the bulkier side. I like the fact that it's USB Type-C. So that's actually a nice thing. And also this case quality uh, is very good. It feels actually uh, premium. And lastly, again, coming to the price, uh, these are premium uh, earphones uh, the regular price is around 20,000 as of now in India again I'll leave the link of Amazon because I've seen sometimes uh, this one falling down to as low as about 18,000 but certainly I would say if you are a person who uh, prefers what do you say this uh, TWS uh, uh, rather than full-size headphones then actually and you love listening to music these are uh, one of the best that I have tested till date Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys. See you later.